Hello everyone, I have some incredible news guys. So we finally have first villagers in the desert palace. We have our first weaponsmith, his offer is shit though. <laughs> but that's very very good. So the villagers, they are completely detecting our new bell here and everything. And yeah, we're actually just missing two rooms in this uh, beautiful palace and then we're actually done with it. And yeah, like a few decorations we still will add, like here for example. Maybe I'll add something here as well. But yeah, for the most part, we are done here. And what I'm gonna do as well today is, and this is very, very important. I'm going to actually add a cartographer so we can get... Oh, we have even a librarian now! So it was actually good that I was throwing around like a lot of carrots. I still got some spare ones. Let, let me give this one some. Yep, he picked it up. Perfect. And yeah, this room will be the cartographer room. And I'm going to have two cartographers. I think that's more than enough. So one will be working here in this corner. And here's a risk of falling. So in this corner, there will be another one. Now, as usual, when we have like a working stage like this... You know what? I actually want a dark oak fence for this. It will match the color, right? And we do have some dark oak, so... Let's quickly craft some dark oak fence. We all need two anyway. Perfect. This will really match. Am I going to use... For this I want actually... No, it, let's use a pressure plate actually too. Okay, perfect. So yeah, next to the cartography table, I'm going to place a fence. Now on top of that fence, there will be a pressure plate. So it looks like an actual table. Ooh, cool. And now above the window, of course some trapdoors. We can later put maybe some barrels or something there, some flower pots. Here would be a nice sitting area. Oh, you know what? I actually don't want it too close to the stairs, so I'm just gonna break this block now and have it here. Because I have another idea what we can do here. We're actually going to put some dirt here and some two block flowers. <coughs> okay, now trapdoors, very important. All around here. Now on top of this, let me think. This time we are going for white, so we're going to have white tablecloth. Ooh, not bad. But the lantern, there will be one this corner for sure. Or should we go for another color, guys? I, I actually want here... What is a nice contrast? Some yellow. I'm just gonna look for some yellow carpet. Oh, and very important. So I finally updated actually the balcony here of the castle. So we have now an iron fence here. I actually gathered some extra iron ingots. I made like a lot of iron fence. I put some slabs on top so the villagers, they can no longer jump up here. I think it should be safe now. And we're not gonna have villagers fall down anymore. Yeah, I think it's pretty okay now. And yeah, once we're done with the cartography room, this will be our final room. This will be actually a small kitchen. This will be the palace kitchen. And yeah, upstairs we're already done with the small bedrooms. I thought it was really cool what we did here the last episode with the uh, trapdoors here. The bamboo one looks really, really nice. And even though the moon is out, we can't sleep. This is so weird. <gasps> Look at the view from here. Wow. She love that. But yeah, um, let's make a quick list what we need. So yellow carpet. Um, I'm actually place all trapdoors just to make sure we're not missing any. So there will be here some and uh, yeah. What am I going to do here? Bookshelves. 
Let's actually place some. So here will be bookshelves. Like this. <clears throat> and here will be bookshelves. Let's actually bring this all the way up. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. So we need some... Should we have... Okay, no, I actually want here the librarians and the, the, the cartographers to be able to walk through. There will be a bookshelf. There will be barrels later on. There's a bookshelf. That one too. Okay, so barrels, yellow carpet and two block flowers. If I'm not mistaken, the yellow carpet is in maybe one of those chests. No. Did they dig up some more flowers? Mm. I have to be always careful to grab those, otherwise... Ah, here's one! Ooh, yeah, we got a pitcher pot. Nice. Now let's see what's in this chest. No carpets. Wait, but we have the two block flowers. Um, I'm going for Lilyx because... Yeah, I think we have, we are overusing already the, the, the rose bushes. I will still grab two. I, I will just I will just try both and see which one I like more. Um, yellow carpet. I close this. They sound like freaking moose, like seriously. Wow, I didn't know that so villagers can interact with camels. Like, what is this villager doing to the camel from the side? Are you speaking to our camel? <laughs> Like, I know villagers, sometimes they kind of interact with, like, uh, cats, right? At, at least, like, baby villagers do. So, villagers, they do interact with camels. They talk to them and stuff. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is the evidence that uh, villagers in Minecraft are social creatures. They like to interact with stuff. Alright, yellow carpet. There we go. Um, barrels. Do we have... No, we have no barrels. Guess we have to make some. Oh, we need anyway just to right? Let me get rid of this uh, sapling. We don't need this. Why am I carrying a single sapling? It's so strange. Two barrels. Yeah, we got pretty much everything we need now. Uh, iron golem is in here too. So we have our first guard here. Can actually ruin our beautiful whatever it's called. What is this called again? But the thing about this plate is cool. You can actually jump on it. So we can go here and we can like stand for a short moment on this one. Drip. No, not drip leaf. Drip leaf? Drip leaf, I think. Something. Alright. Um, yeah, let's fit the barrels in um yeah today i will further breed our population now that we have like several villagers in the castle i'm mostly going to give the food just to them okay so so one barrel will be facing this direction and one will be wait i didn't want this like that i wanted to face upside down like that nice now here will be two liliacs i'm gonna break this I'm gonna replace it with some nice yellow carpet. Um, more flowers here? Probably not. But we need more lanterns. Let's quickly make some. One will have a chain as well. So two lanterns should be enough. Two lanterns, one chain. I uh, got some space issues, so... All right, two lanterns, one chain. Okay, so one lantern will be here. Oh no, let's, let's make it here. And with the chain, there will be lantern. 
Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is great. How's the late level here? It's still okay, I hope. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, wow. That means our Ketographer room is done. We could add some art to it. What do you guys think? Should we have some paintings here? And there's something I wanted to try. How does it actually look if I have like a trap door over the door? Uh, not really liking it. Let's just get some paintings and, and fill out those empty wall spots. Um, crafting table. We have enough sticks, enough wool, sure. Two are enough. What is he doing? I I've noticed that if I have like a sitting area with like trapdoors, like villagers often get stuck here. So strange. So one painting will be here. We got the frog with a spider. Looks like a frog. And here I want uh, only two block painting. Yeah, that one's nice. Ouch. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, that's, that's nice. I like it here, kind of. It's like a small room, so there is like not too much we can decorate, unfortunately. But I feel like it still looks pretty, pretty nice. How does that look from this side? Also pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually liking this room. The next time will be the kitchen. We could also add like some sort of sitting areas or something here on the, the, the balcony, right? Like we could have, for example, here some stairs at like uh, those windows, right? Like this. I think it's nice. Perhaps do the same here as well. Like, I don't want the sitting areas at every window. I want this, like, to not be everywhere the same. Uh, yeah, this is too crowded here. Ah, never mind. I, I also do this at the windows because it looks kind of strange in the corner like this. Yeah, let's just do it like that. There'll be some here. Here already some. Nice. And yeah, the next plan is we finish this room. Then I will start uh, leveling up all those villagers. And once they are leveled up, we're gonna have insane trades. So it's gonna be really nice. Oh, and today I'm giving you guys also a complete tour through the whole castle. So yeah, here on the side, we're starting here in this room. We have our weaponsmith room. So here's where we get all those weapons from on at least diamond level. Like it's actually cool if you level up a uh, villager, sometimes you get actually good stuff. Here we have smite three. This is very good against any undead like skeletons and uh, zombies, for example. Here's our nice throne room. And I kind of like how we have a path here with like those flowers. I think it looks really, really nice. And then we have this throne here with this cool painting and stuff. And the villagers, they seem to feel like really comfortable here. And upstairs on this side, we have bed, a big bedroom. Downstairs in this small room here, there's our armor. I think we also did really well here. I think it looks kind of cool how we have this lava here with the blast furnaces. The view is also not too bad from here. It's a really nice, comfortable small room. And about this bedroom here that I showed you. So this will be, of course, updated. Like I plan on adding here something, maybe a huge aquarium or something. Like what I think would be so nice if we have like this large aquarium that goes out to here and it's like one block uh, wider even than this one downstairs. Here we could still add something. And yeah, here's our nice library. It's pretty spacious. We can have quite many librarians here actually. And we already have our first ones. This is our laboratory. There are the brewing stands. 
We got some of the new flowers here. We did bring in some parts from the nether here as well, at least from the warped forest. We got like this this fungus here. We got like those those nether warts. Got some shroom light here as well. And if you go upstairs, what we are doing through the library, those are the only stairs that lead upstairs. We're here in our new cartographer room. It's also nice and sweet, right? On this side, there will be the kitchen soon. We have two small extra bedrooms here to increase the population. Here are even more beds. And we also have a toolsmith on this side here. I actually love the way those new flowers look in like flower pots. I think they're really, really nice. Here will be three toolsmiths, hopefully soon. Like I said, I have to breed further the villagers. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.